Welcome back to art. I'm excited to explore more lines. Hello! Uh, Sir cares a lot here. Tell me more. I can't wait to use more lines today. Well, today we are being inspired by some Navajo weavings. These are textiles, hand woven, that means handmade by Native American artists. Look at all of the different lines they created. What lines do you see? Now, last time we made two prints using a variety of lines. Variety means many different types. So how shall I glue this on my blanket? How shall I set these up? I'm going to hurry and just turn this into super speed for you to see. I'm gonna carefully glue my first print down on my blanket. And I'm gonna place this one right next to it, but give a little space in between. And of course, I'm waiting 10 seconds at least for it to dry. Now, time to choose some colors. I'm going to look at the color schemes available and so far I have the warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, but I wanna use the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. So here I found a red, blue, and yellow, great. Now this crayon needs a little bit of work. I'm just gonna peel that paper off and make sure to throw it away later. But I'm preparing this crayon to be used. Going to clean my paintbrush, of course. Remove all that glue. And back to getting my crayons prepped. So I don't need to peel off all the paper, just a little bit so I can use it. Primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Here we go. What lines haven't I used yet? I'm gonna start with a yellow curved line. Hmm, kind of hard to see. I'm gonna make a pattern, yellow, blue, yellow. Maybe I'll be able to see it a little bit better. It's kind of hard to see. You know, I'm gonna go over it with some red. Change my pattern up and do blue, red, blue, red. That way the audience can see my pattern. Blue, red, blue, red. Curved lines sort of look like rainbows. You can do a lot of things with curved lines. I'm switching it up to some oil pastels because I think that might be easier to see. So you could continue this project with crayons. If you have oil pastels, you can also use those. They are like crayons, but they're made from an oil base, whereas crayons are from a wax base. So I have my pastel here and I'm going to add some more lines. Very lines, thin lines. Hmm. Now I'm ready to work on my other print. Hmm. What could I add to this one? What kind of lines haven't I used yet? broken line, big and bold, so it's easy for the audience to see. Hmm, diagonals, diagonal lines, diagonal thin lines. Varied line.
curved lines are really good to use. What else? Thick line. I will make a thick vertical line. Vertical going up, thick, wide line. And I want to add some accents here just so my picture really stands out with the white. And maybe a diagonal line here and there. Hmm. All right. Used a lot of different lines, a variety of lines. And it's time for my artist signature. I'm going to write my name big and bold so my audience can see it. Clean my hands. Oil pastels are very messy, so don't let them get on the desk or the ground. And back to that inspiration. Wow, these weavings are incredible. Look at all the different lines they came up with. Here we see it a Native American woman getting her basket ready to be woven. Wow, amazing that they, she made these by hand. Beautiful designs. Even the jewelry, look at all of those different lines. I see zigzag lines, so much to learn about. Oh. I just can't wait to add more lines to my blanket today. Hope you have as much fun as me. Do your best class and use a variety of lines. <laughs>